Thank you. No problem. Numerous remarkable martial arts series have graced our screens in recent times, each offering a unique blend of excellence. For enthusiasts of martial arts shows, this list is a must-see, showcasing the absolute best in terms of cast, action, and storytelling. Whether it's the cast, action, or the story that made you fall in love with the show, we present to you the top 10 best martial arts TV shows to add to your watch list. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on more exciting content. Number 10. Handsome Siblings Handsome Siblings is a 2020 Chinese television series based on a novel. The story revolves around twin brothers who are separated at birth but grow up to become supreme martial artists. Raised with the purpose of seeking revenge against each other, they unexpectedly form a strong friendship. Together, they pledge to make a mark in the martial arts world and unravel the mysteries surrounding their true identities. While the overall plot of Handsome Siblings adheres to the typical wuxia si drama formula, the execution and direction stand out as unique. Ultimately, Handsome Siblings is a C drama that is well worth the time for viewers to watch. Number 9. Kung Fu Kung Fu is an adaptation of the 1970s classic series of the same name. The show follows a young woman named Nikki Shin, who sequesters herself for three years in a Shaolin monastery in a remote part of China to avoid her overbearing mother's wishes and train in martial arts. After her training is abruptly cut short, Nikki returns to her family in San Francisco's Chinatown to discover that her hometown has become overrun by organized crime and needs a hero to protect and inspire the general public to stand up for themselves. Using her skills, she fights back against the rampant crime and corruption to protect her home, while preparing herself to face off with a deadly assassin responsible for the death of her former teacher. The show blends thrilling action with heartfelt family drama, showcasing a unique family dynamic rarely seen on television. You took down an army by yourself. Number 8. Jean-Claude Van Johnson Jean-Claude Van Damme is another famous name in the entertainment industry when it comes to martial arts, so much so that this Prime Video series is a fictionalized version of his life. The show operates on the premise that his persona as Jean-Claude Van Damme, the action movie star, is a cover for his real self, secret agent Jean-Claude Van Johnson. Though now retired, he begins to miss the work he did both as an actor and a secret agent, so he seizes the first chance to jump back into the business by starring in a new action film, while working as a spy to track down and apprehend a major drug kingpin. The show's comedic elements stem from the absurd juxtapositions between his real-life encounters as a spy and the borderline unrealistic situations that occur in most action films. Number 7. Wu Assassins Netflix's Wu Assassins only boasted a single season in a follow-up movie, but still served as a worthy entry into the martial arts genre. The series follows Kai Jin, a young Chinatown chef in present-day San Francisco, as he becomes entangled with the Chinese triad's pursuit of deadly ancient powers known as the Wu Xing. After an encounter with a mystical spirit, Kai reluctantly becomes the Wu Assassin, using his enhanced martial arts skills to recover supernatural powers from five modern-day criminals threatening to use them to destroy the world. What made Wu Assassin special was casting action star Yuko Iwise, experienced in martial arts movies. This, along with other actors with real martial arts skills, enhanced the show's fight scenes. Number 6. Iron Fist Iron Fist is an American television series created by Scott Buck, based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. The show follows the story of Danny Rand. After his family meets a tragic fate during an expedition in China, a young Rand is adopted by the people of the mystical lost city of Kunluan. There, he is taught a magical fighting style. Returning to New York City after being missing for years, Danny Rand fights against the criminal element corrupting the city. He utilizes his incredible kung fu mastery and the ability to summon the awesome power of the fiery iron fist. The show itself is a captivating blend of superhero and martial arts genres, resulting in some impressive yet occasionally flawed fight scenes. Number 5. Into the Badlands Into the Badlands takes place sometime in a post-apocalyptic future where society has been reduced to a feudal state and most remnants of life before cease to exist. Civilization is divided into sections known as the Badlands, each run by a baron. Each baron houses elite warriors known as Clippers to do their bidding. 
One such clipper is Sonny, and with his young protege, they will face the dangers and wonders of this world. This AMC series may not have gotten off to a good start, but it soon picked up speed to become one of the best live-action shows about martial arts. Infusing classic martial arts tropes into a post-apocalyptic setting, Into the Badlands succeeded in creating a sprawling, martial arts-driven epic, heavy on breathtaking action sequences. Number 4, Banshee. Banshee is a hard-hitting, gritty series set in the fictional town of Banshee, Pennsylvania. It follows the story of an ex-con, who assumes the identity of Lucas Woods, the murdered sheriff of the town. This character's real identity is never revealed throughout the show. He does so to hide from a powerful crime lord, Rabbit. In doing so, he opens the doors to a lot of complications for himself and those around him. Throughout the series, Banshee sees a struggle with adapting to his new identity while dealing with the machinations of local crime lord Kai Proctor and remaining hidden from Rabbit. Banshee embodies the quintessential teenage boy stereotype, encompassing elements such as drugs, guns, explosions, mafia dealings, gangsters, gambling, and, of course, martial arts. Number 3, Warrior. Warrior is one of the best TV shows about martial arts, which is no surprise because the idea came from Bruce Lee himself. Warrior follows Assam who arrives with other Chinese refugees in America to find his sister, but tensions are high all around. The Americans don't want them there, his sister doesn't want him there, and he's thrust into a local gang that is on the verge of war. Something's gotta give in this strange new land where success isn't for the weak. Warrior brings well-choreographed fight scenes performed by actors who know the style. On top of that, there's also great storytelling set to a unique aesthetic. Number 2, Daredevil. Netflix's Daredevil series ran for three seasons and told the story of Matt Murdock, a blind lawyer by day, but at night, he's the acrobatic vigilante known as Daredevil. He's a one-person army facing down waves of goons in an endless pursuit to clean Hell's kitchen of crime. It's a magnificent noir superhero series with great choreography and action that thrilled fans for three seasons. This series of action sequences would be nothing without its spiritual and emotional core, as the storytelling tackles heavy themes on morality and justice, along with the emotional connections of a hero. Daredevil is infinitely rewatchable and was groundbreaking in its brutal, well-done action sequences that consistently illustrated Matt as a master of martial arts. Number 1. Cobra Kai Cobra Kai is the hit sequel series to Karate Kid that no one saw coming. Set 30 years later, the perspective follows that of Johnny Lawrence who is haunted by the ghosts of the past. When he takes a young boy under his wing, he's inspired to reopen the Cobra Kai dojo to teach karate to down on their luck teenagers. However, this reignites his rivalry with Daniel LaRusso, who's seen nothing but success. Beyond karate and nostalgia, the show explores friendship and courage, breathing new life into the decades-old franchise. Cobra Kai delivers on the expectations of a great martial arts story with revenge plots, heated rivalries, well-choreographed action, and character arcs showcasing the growth of its young protagonists into capable martial artists. If you like a video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more content like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel.